This is KTAB News Weekend. Good evening, everybody. I'm Tyler Henderson. Mercedes is away tonight. We'll begin with our top story for the evening. In Texas, the latest federal data shows about 10 veterans a week are committing suicide. And the shocking thing is that number is on the rise each week. Some veteran advocates and organizations are pushing for state governments to think outside the box to tackle the problem. KTAB Austin correspondent Jayla Washington takes a look at one possible solution and how effective this could be long term. Many of us only see the photos and hear the veteran stories. But Marcus Capone will tell you firsthand the military changes you. I was really struggling when I separated from service in 2013. And around 2015, 16, I was at my tipping point. Man. After nothing else seemed to help his depression, he turned to psychedelic medicine, things like mushrooms and MDMA. Now he helps run a nonprofit that supports research into that therapy. The individuals that we have funded now, over 500, are coming back and saying that like, this has been a life changing experience life saving for many in Texas legislation passed last session to allow alternative therapies for veterans. UT Austin's Dell Medical School opened a psychedelic research therapy center. Some pilot programs involving veterans and mushrooms will kick off the research. One of them is going to be looking at um, uh, psilocybin for treatment resistant major depressive disorder. And our hypothesis is that the psychedelic will condition the brain to be optimally receptive to that treatment process. Other universities are already looking into this. John Hopkins released a report just this year showing psychedelics were effective in treating major depression for up to a year. Studies show depression can be linked to suicide. Well, we're definitely being cautious. Um, we want to uh, approach this from a place where we minimize risk. Uh, for people. Well, UT Dell and Capone both know this therapy isn't for everyone. They feel this research will only help everyone learn more about how it works. UT Dell says it'll focus on developing and testing therapies. The best way to describe psychedelic medications and how it can biologically and psychologically affect someone. And in a news conference at a Kiev subway station, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin were planning to visit Ukraine's capital today. Now, the White House, State Department, and the Pentagon declined to comment on what would be the first official visit by U.S. government officials since Russia invaded Ukraine just a short two months ago. Meanwhile, Russia is stepping up its offensive across large parts of Ukraine. CBS News correspondent Michael George reports from New York. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says he's not afraid of Russian attempts to take his life. On Saturday, Zelensky held a news conference from the crowded platform of a subway station in the capital, Kyiv. He says he would like to meet with Russian leader Vladimir Putin, but only if Putin's forces stop the deadly onslaught in Ukraine's besieged southern port city of Mariupol. A Ukrainian presidential advisor says Russian troops have resumed airstrikes there and are trying to storm a steel mill. Ukrainian soldiers and civilians are trapped at the plant that Putin this week ordered sealed to starve troops into surrendering. Russia is terrorist because there is so much evidences, just Bucha, Mariupol, other Ukrainian city where you can see these atrocities and terrible war crimes. Ukraine says Russian missile strikes on the southern port city of Odessa killed several people and injured others. To the northeast in Kharkiv, firefighters battled blazes in the aftermath of more Russian bombardments. Residents said they can't understand why civilians are being targeted in this war. And there will be no Orthodox Easter services at this northern Ukraine church. Russian invaders all but destroyed the house of worship, which survived World War II. Michael George, CBS News. Ukrainian officials say a three-month-old baby was among six people killed in the attack on Odessa. And it's been a Houston fixture for more than 100 years. But next year, the Lyondell Basil Oil Refinery, one of the largest in the country, will be shutting down. While the company plans on staying in Houston, hundreds of workers may be looking for new jobs. However, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner says he believes the nearly 500 employees at the oil refinery will have no issue finding jobs after it officially shuts down, saying it's just the next step in leading the energy transition efforts. Texas leads number one in wind capacity. We are number two in solar capacity. So I think what you're just seeing is the evolution uh, that's taking place within the energy sector. 
The mayor also announced the state approved the largest urban solar farm in the country on the site of an old landfill in Sunnyside.